quit and never give up. If you want to join the military, start hanging out with people that are in the military. That's why the whole delay entry program is imperative to help set people up for success because as you start to hang out with them, you start to talk to talk and walk to walk and you start to understand the lingo and then you start to get into that mindset that will help empower you to be successful in the military and then start striving towards the goals that you want to accomplish. So prepare for the tests, prepare physically, and put yourself around people you want to be like because that will help jumpstart your, your future. You got to get involved with the recruiters. The time that you do spend with the recruiting station will help prepare you. You'll be able to PT with them. You'll start to learn things that you didn't know before. You'll start to understand the rank structure, officer and enlisted. You'll start a small transition to actually becoming a military member before you actually go to boot camp. Because when you arrive at boot camp, everything that you've kind of prepared for up to this point is going to be tested. And as you prepare, you want to physically prepare, mentally prepare. You want to research, analyze, figure out as much as you possibly can so when you do hit that quicksand and when you do meet that challenge face to face, you're able to endure that challenge. You know yourself better than anyone knows you. So you know what drives you. Whatever it is that you, know, you do love, start striving towards that goal. Make sure you emphasize in, in specifically studying those directions that you want to go to make sure that you're able to get the jobs you want. Second thing is, is I would physically start to prepare myself. And a lot of young men and women have the mind, they want to do it, but they're not physically able to do what the military needs them to do. So they get denied. Educate yourself about the military and what branch of service you're going into. Get plugged in with the recruiting station get past your ASVAB, your evaluations, your medical qualifications. Stay plugged in with the delay entry program. Be there as much as you can. Expose yourself to as much of that lifestyle as you possibly can because at the end of the day, it's all preparing you for when you're standing on the yellow footprints and you're enduring that challenge that's gonna be pushed upon you from the drone instructors or instructors or technical instructors, whatever branch of service that you join in.